What up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Armando back at it again with another amazing video. First and foremost, peace and blessings from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So as you guys can see, I'm on John Gabbana's uh, channel. We're on a video called Warrior for Jesus Christ. So if you guys didn't know, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. God bless you all. Um, but if you guys have been keeping up, welcome again. God bless you all as well. <laughs> So uh, I recently did a reaction video, or not so much of a reaction, it wasn't my first time seeing it, but I did a review video, a talk about video, of his testimony. And I thought it was very heartfelt, it was very emotional, very powerful, very beautiful. It was awesome, you know, the fact that he found Christ, God called him, he heard his voice, and he came to the Lord. Amen, hallelujah, you know, praise, praise the Lord, praise God. Um. So after I posted that video, I actually came upon this video. Um, before I watched the video, I was actually really excited. I was like, yeah, you know, John Gabbana is now praising Jesus, you know, warrior for Jesus Christ. I'm like, yup, we got another warrior for Jesus Christ, man, you know, so I wanted to watch it. So uh, I was excited. But unfortunately, I went from excited to spiritual discernment. So I clicked on the video and um, as I was watching it, the Holy Spirit was showing me something and, you know, the video did not look right. Everything in the video did not look right. What was going on did not look right. How he was acting did not look right. The things that they were saying did not sound right. And I really wanted to bring up this video, not only for YouTube, but I've already messaged him personally on Instagram. I realized that he hasn't seen my message. So if it's God's will, according to God's will and God's will only, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a video on this. Hopefully, I can be able to get his attention with this video so I can invite him to a conversation. But I also want to point out something to you guys because this is very urgent. And for all my brothers and sisters out there in Jesus Christ, I would love for us to pray for him. Pray for him because he is not around the right people. He's not around spiritual people. And... um not only pray for him, but also pray for those people who are not spiritual. Pray for those people who are also confused because the ones in the car are very confused as well. So I'd love to pray for all of them. And, you know, I actually, I, I really wanted to point out some things in this video. Uh, I'm not going to watch the whole video, but uh, if you guys want to see the whole video, I'll leave the link down in the description below. But yeah, we're going to watch the video together and I'm going to give you guys my perspective and show you guys what I've seen and explain what I've seen. But we're going to go through the video and do this instead of me just explaining now. So let's uh let's play the video now. So let me make sure the volume's turned up. So let me just turn it up enough so you guys can hear it. But all right. So you can tell, yes, he is genuine about coming to Christ, like wanting to come to Christ. But there's something off about him. I am a warrior. Oh, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, I am a warrior for Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, I pray. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I'm up. The Holy yeah. Spirit is in me. He been All right, so oh, I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to pause it right here. This is where, when I was watching it, and I seen him in the back, at first, the first couple of seconds, I was like, yeah, you know, Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ, amen. But as soon as he pulled up close to the camera, and started really with aggression with that type of holding himself in an unorderly conduct and then to say that he has the holy spirit in him when i tell you i felt the spirit of discernment hit me so hard the holy spirit was just letting me know that this isn't right this isn't sitting right and you know me when it comes to discernment when it comes to spiritual discernment i don't want to just judge right off the back i don't want to just you know, go based off of what I feel right there at the moment. I want to make sure that this is truly what the Holy Spirit's telling me. And what I seen with my spiritual eyes that this is not the Holy Spirit that he has in him. I'm going to say it straight up. John Gabbana needs deliverance. You know, it's he's he's coming to Christ. He's taking baby steps to Christ. But with his background, with everything that he have, has ever done, and this goes for anybody. If you're coming to Christ, you've been on drugs, You've been on alcohol. You've had, you know, sex with multiple people. You've been fornicating, committing adultery, you know, watch pornography, whatever the case may be. When you come to Christ, you can't forget where you come from. 
You got to be able to lay all that down at the cross. You got to be able to crucify that old person with Christ and resurrect with Christ, become a new creation in Christ. That is what that is what we call being born again. You have to be born again. Jesus says, no man comes to the kingdom unless he is born again. We must be born again. It doesn't mean water baptism. We don't have to be water baptized, but you must be born again, made new. And, you know, you got to be born again. You got to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. You got to be changed. You got to be created a new creation in Christ Jesus. You see, when you become a new creation in Christ Jesus, you have new desires. Your heart changes. Your life changes. You see, I was an addict to porn. I was an addict to to smoking marijuana. I drank a lot. I, I was an addict to fornication, you know, and I had a lot of wicked, lustful thoughts. I used to freely commit lust over a lot of different women. I was addicted to a lot of things that was not of God. But yet when I became a new cre creation in Christ Jesus, he changed me. He changed me. He took every desire of my flesh away from me. You see, yet I still struggle with some things, but you know, the Bible says he who started a great work in me will finish until the day of Christ Jesus. So we're all going to have struggles. We're not going to be perfect, but he changed my heart because now I desire righteousness and the kingdom of God. I desire the treasures of heaven. I desire righteousness. I desire Christ Jesus. You see, I had a love for making worldly music. I had a, a love for making, you know, music with profanity, talking about demons, talking about selling my soul. I had a love for, you know, money. I had a love for the things of this world. But when Jesus entered my life and I was born again, he changed that in me. That is a miracle. That is something that counseling couldn't do. Medication couldn't do. Nothing in this world couldn't do. You know, and, and I'm sorry for my family, but not even my family could do that for me. Not even my closest best friends could do that for me. But Jesus Christ did that for me. He changed my life completely. And that is what is needed to be done with John. You need to be born again. And I feel that he's not even being educated what being born again is. He, he's not even being educated of what walking in the spirit is. He doesn't understand what flesh battling the spirit even means. He doesn't understand that we don't battle with flesh and blood, but rather we battle with higher principalities in, in higher places wicked spirits, demonic entities that we battle with, that we don't see unless we know, unless we read the word of God and allow the Holy Spirit to teach us. We need to be involved and surrounded in unity with the body of Christ, true spiritual warriors of Jesus Christ. So we can learn, so we can be educated, so we can be taught the right way and taught the right direction. You see, I always bring up this verse, narrow is the way to the kingdom of heaven. Narrow is the way and very few will enter therein. But broad is the path that many will enter and many will be deceived in. You see, you got to make sure that you are with the right body. And so far, especially when I seen this video the first time, I haven't watched the whole thing. You're going to see what I mean with, I don't feel that he's with the right people. He's not, he's not with spiritual people. And I feel that the people that he is with are either using him just for his money, using him just for the clout. Maybe using him just for the fame and fortune, just to be around him. And and, and and I feel that John Gabon is truly genuine about coming to Christ, yet the people that he's with are not taking it serious. They, they're, they haven't had the experience that John has had, but yet they want to stick around with him because of money, clout, fame, fortune, whatever the case may be. You see, John, before I play this video again, you need to understand you need, you need separation from these people. You need separation from the world. You need to fast. Fasting is not always not eating anything, but you need to fast from the world. You need to fast from money, fame, media, your friends, and have a one-on-one -on -one with God. You need to ask God, God, what do you want from me? What do you desire from me? I want to desire what you desire for me, Lord God. I want what you want for me, Lord God. Show me, direct me. Separate yourself for like five days. Go on a vacation. You got money, boy. By yourself, go go on a vacation by yourself. Nah, not by yourself. With the Lord. With the Lord. And bring a Bible with you. Bring the King's James Version Bible or you know the NIV, whatever, whatever Bible is easier for you to read and understand. And read the word of God and, and ask God to show you. Show you what He desires for you, man. Do this the right way. 
Because this is your salvation. This is serious. This is your salvation. This is eternity. You could die today thinking that you're saved. But you may not even be saved. We're going to continue this. Right. The Lord. Whole time. Oh my Lord. Jesus name. And then we got oh this man Lord. in the front God seat blaspheming God's, God's name. The I Lord's see, name just throwing it around saying, oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Like... Hey. hey John, hey John. Yes, sir. Talk I, to me, I, my brother. I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you uh, that. You see, the Bible says, "Be sober, shot, be vigilant, because chest, your adversary, the devil, so walks around so seeking whom he may man. devour, like a I'm roaring lion, like a roaring lion." Hey, man. Jesus name. I refuse. I refuse to fall into the devil's trap. I refuse to fall into the devil child because I see it now. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You blessed. You blessed. You blessed. Amen. I feel it. Amen. Jesus got him one in Jesus' name. Amen. I rebuke Satan Thank in the name Father. of Jesus. I rebuke you, Thank Satan, you, in the Father. name of Jesus. Keep this Thank car safe. Father. Keep this car Thank safe you, in Jesus' Father. name. I pray for your Thank son. You, Father. I pray for all your Thank family. You, I pray for my family. Thank you, Jesus. Getting emotional. Thank you, Jesus. Please be with me, Thank Lord. You, Jesus. In Jesus' name, and don't Thank have you, to Jesus. Go. You see, real quick, because I personally, I don't know if they're high. And maybe that's why he's acting like this or. But either way, even if he is high, you can see that he's being taken over by something else that is not the Holy Spirit. He's being taken over by something that in a few more seconds within this video or minute or so, you're going to end up realizing and seeing what I'm seeing. You see, use your spiritual eyes. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I want you to truly ask God for the spirit of discernment and, and truly see what I'm seeing right now. Ask God to, to, to help you lean not on your own understanding, but rather what God wants to show you through the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and direct you and, and just see, use your spiritual eyes and really see, because you're going to see that this man, John Gabbana, is battling something. He's battling something. You see, when you give your life to Christ, the devil puts a target on your back. The enemy puts a target on your back. The moment you give your life to Christ, the devil is going to send out his minions. He's going to try to break you down, pull you away from Christ. He's going to put people in your, in, in your circle to try to keep you from Christ, to try to keep you from getting closer to God, the true God. And you are going to get deceived. You're going to be deceived by your friends, by even family, by money, the things of this world, even yourself. You see, the Bible teaches that the heart is deceitful above all things. Your feelings are deceitful. We can't go based off of our own feeling, feelings. That's why Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Don't go based off your own understanding, your feelings. Don't go based off even what your heart is telling you, but rather go based off what the Holy Spirit is directing and leading you to. And you need to make sure that it's the Holy Spirit. You need to make sure that it's the Holy Spirit. That's why you got to read the word of God, pray to God. You got to have a strong prayer life, a strong relationship with God. We're going to keep playing this. Let's go. In Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. He got you. Jesus name. He got you. In Jesus name. Thank you, you see the way he is saying Jesus name and Jesus name and Jesus name. I can tell that he's being genuine. He just he has no idea what he's dealing with, and he doesn't have the you know that people to really support him and educate him in the word and really teach him and direct him. You know he he needs that spiritual guidance. He needs the right people. Thank you, Father. I'm scared. You man, see? You, man, you is good. I'm, you up. is good. Man. Remember that. I'm scared. Man. I know. Bro, something I know. was taking over. I know. 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 I know.
I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Something just took over. Bro, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Hey, the Holy Spirit just equipped you with the power. All right, see, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm, well, I'm going to pause it right there. So he said, I'm scared something took over me. And the person in the front seat didn't even have discernment of his brother. He wasn't even concerned about his brother. Didn't even ask, yo, are you okay? Are you good? You got to understand the whole. And then he says it was the Holy Spirit. You see, the Holy Spirit. Spirit does not give you fear. The Holy Spirit does not make you feel like that. The Holy Spirit does not give you an uncomfortable feeling. The Holy Spirit actually provides you peace, a sound mind, joy, fulfillment in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit does not give you any sort of confusion, any sort of, you know, uh, uh, bad feeling, any sort of fear. You see, that's not the Holy Spirit. That is not the Holy Spirit of God. That's something else that you're battling with. And you know, the people that you're with clearly don't have that discernment. They clearly don't have the Holy Spirit. They clearly don't know what's going on. They just sound as if they're just playing along or mocking. You see, the Bible teaches God shall not be mocked. Whatever a man sows, he shall also reap. So, John, man, I, I want you to understand, listen... If it is God's will, if this is God's will, I already messaged you on Instagram. Unfortunately, you didn't open it. Unfortunately, you didn't see it. I'm not surprised. But if it, if this is God's will, you will see this video. And my Instagram is at Christ Righteous Ministries. And I want you to come contact me. If you truly want Christ, if you want Jesus, the real Jesus, the Jesus of Nazareth, the 33-year-old Jewish man, God who came down in the flesh and died on the cross for the sins of the world, through, through whose blood we can receive salvation and eternal life, then contact me, brother. Contact me. I know you want the Lord, and I can see, I know it's genuine, you want the Lord, but you need the right spiritual guidance. You see, I have a lot of brothers and sisters out here where, I am, where I'm at. We got a church out here and we'd be willing to pray for you. We'd be willing to go through the Bible with you. We, we would be willing to answer any questions you have and willing to give you like that push start and direct you. We got to go based off the word of God. What is God saying? What does God want from you? If you want to know that, listen, according to the will of God, okay? If it is God's will, not my will, but God's will be done. If it is God's will, then maybe we can make this happen. But you got to be willing. You see, your flesh is not willing. Your flesh wants the desires of this world. Your flesh wants money, sex, fame, fortune. But the flesh wants the, but the spirit, my fault, the spirit wants the word of God. The spirit wants God. The Spirit wants Jesus Christ. The Spirit wants the truth. The Spirit wants the kingdom of heaven. The Spirit wants righteousness. But the flesh is going to hold you back. If you don't know the difference, if you're not being taught the difference, how are you going to do on your spiritual walk? If you, if you don't have a prayer life, if you have no type of relationship with Jesus Christ, you just believe what Jesus did for you, but yet you don't build a foundation, a relationship with Jesus, how do you truly know that you're saved? I want to help you, John, man. I want to help you, but you got to be willing. We're going to watch a little more of this. I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but we're going to watch a little more. Bro, you about, you about to see miracles, bro. <laughs> Jesus bro, coming, y'all. He just equipped you with the power. He's coming, y'all. Something and then the power, the like Holy what power Spirit. is he? Me, is he talking about? Something, 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 he must be talking about something else. And I don't think the guy even sitting next to him is even serious. He said the energy. He said the energy came over him. The energy was real. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Man, the energy and the Holy Spirit, two different things. Man. <laughs> now we know why we're here. Now we know why, we, man, yo, the Holy Spirit took over. 
he said, God done got him one. Oh, he put Look it at that man's there. face. Uh, I'm a <laughs> that is, oh, that is it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm leave this right here because, listen, you know, if you guys want to see the rest of the video, I'm going to leave the link down in the description below. The people that he's around, it doesn't look, they don't look genuine. They don't seem to really care. They, I just feel that they're doing it for the camera. They're doing it for the media and they're doing it just to continue to be his friend. Maybe they want the clout. Maybe they want the money. Maybe they want the fame. Listen, John. As Jesus says, for what shall it profit a man to get in the whole world yet lose his own soul? Don't worry about the things of this world. Give your life to Christ truly. Deny yourself. Jesus says, anybody who wants to follow me shall deny themselves and pick up their cross and then follow me. Don't give your life to this world. Give your life truly to Jesus Christ. Separate yourself. You got to separate yourself from this world. You see, when, when you become adopted by Christ Jesus and you become one of his, when you become, when you gain the right to be called a child of God, you are no longer from this world. So everything in this world doesn't matter. You are just passing through. You are not from this world. You are from the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. You are a child of God. But how do you know that you are a child of God? How do you truly know? This is a warning, man. You need to repent. Repentance means to turn from your ways, have a change of mind. Look towards Christ. Turn from the world and look towards Christ. Turn from your flesh and turn to your spirit. Deny yourself and accept the Lord. Deny what you want to do and accept what God wants to do for you in your life. Deny your desires of this world and accept and desire righteousness in the kingdom. The Bible says, seek ye the kingdom and righteousness first. Then all these things will come to you. What is all these things? Everything that you need in your life will come to you. But you must seek righteousness in the kingdom of God first. Listen, trust in God. Yahweh. The God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of David, the God who came down in flesh as Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died on the cross for the sins of the world because he loves us so much, who rose again on the third day. You must believe in your heart that he rose on the third day. You must believe that this real man, Jesus Christ, almost 2,000 years ago, died on the cross in Calvary and rose again on the third day. But anyways, I'm going to leave this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love every single one of you, but most importantly, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. And listen, John Gabbana, if you really want to talk about this, my Instagram is at Christ Righteous Ministries on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.